Now, I mentioned earlier that Lizzie actually has the ability to receive orders in a lot of different ways. And in this uh, scenario, we're going to be receiving one part at a time. We're going to assume that either we're hand typing the part numbers, which is what we're going to do here, or we've got bar barcode labels or part numbers on each box that we can actually scan with a scanner. Now, what I want to do is we can, first of all, we can go in here with everything set just like it is, and we can start typing in part numbers and hitting the enter key, and the system will go through and find top to bottom the first PO that had that part on it, and it'll tag it as received. Um, we've seen that we can receive more than one PO at the same time, so that's not a big deal. But what I would like to do in this scenario is go a step farther and say that, look, I want to make sure that we only receive against these two purchase orders. So if I put a part number in here, I don't want you to go down and match a, a, a PO down here or a PO up here. I want you to only look at these two purchase orders. And once I select the two POs that I want to work with, then I'm going to come up here and tell it to receive against only those two purchase orders. So I've basically locked the system into only looking at these two purchase orders. So now if I put in a part number, that is on one of those two POs, and I'm going to hit the enter key, which basically emulates the scanner. Now, the problem right now is you'll notice there's two uh, 09601s in here, so I need to pick the one that actually is going to, that is on this purchase order. So we're going to choose the one that's on here, and you'll notice now that it has added this dash 01, 3701-01 to my receive, and it's tagged one quantity over here. And, and so I can either come over here manually and hit three, or I can just continue to scan items out of the box, and Lizzie will keep updating that quantity until we eventually get to our three, or maybe the thing didn't ship in full, and, we've, and we're going to end up having a special order, or maybe something's coming from another, uh, another warehouse and hasn't come in yet. So... The, the, the process, again, is to either hand type one part at a time, scan it, and then if you want to lock it to a particular PO, you can. Uh, and then, you know, once you receive the order in, it works just like any other process, just like we earlier were clicking the plus sign. It's just a, a one item at a time process instead of having to look through trying to find things. And this, this usually probably is a better way to do it if you have a really large order uh, because trying to, to jump around trying to find parts sometimes can get a little daunting.